Okay, the time is 422. I would like to call to order the uh, December 19th meeting of the Board of Police Commissioners. We have a quorum with Commissioner Tony Lopez and Mayor Rilling. I apologize in advance. For some reason, the camera on my computer went out and all you see is the blank screen there. Uh, so we'll start the meeting with uh, public comment. Do we have anybody wishing to address the Board of Police Commissioners? We do not, Mayor. Okay. Next item on the agenda, uh, recognition of November officers of the month. It looks like we have quite a few, Chief. You're going to do the uh, minutes? Approve oh, yeah. Minutes? How about that? <laughs> Let's approve the minutes first of the meeting of uh, November 21st, 2022. Do I have a motion? So moved, Mayor. Okay. Any corrections, deletions, omissions? I have none. Seeing none, all in favor of approving the minutes as submitted? Aye. Oh, so moved. Aye. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is now the recognition <laughs> of the November officers of the month. Uh, Chief? Yep. Uh, so these are two different inc uh, incidents uh, that are being recognized. The first uh, is Detective Nick uh, Kukumazidis, who is on the uh, the Zoom. And this relates to a burglary investigation he was conducting, actually several uh, burglaries that occurred, as well as a residential burglary on November 3rd. Um, he looked at a security video and saw the description of the suspects and also noted that one was armed with a handgun during the uh, incident. He also learned that credit cards that were taken were used at locations in Bridgeport and he responded to Bridgeport to review uh, any security video he could see there. While he was in Bridgeport, the uh, victim notified him that they were alerted that a credit card was being used at the Trumbull Mall. Uh, he then responded to the Trumbull Mall and contacted Trumbull Police as well and was able to locate the suspects and their vehicle uh, and the multiple credit cards that had been stolen and inside the car located the uh, handgun that he had observed on the video and uh, Trumbull police took the individuals into custody with uh, Detective Kukumazidis. Uh, he was uh, nominated by uh, Detective Toronto and Deputy Chief Walsh uh, forwarded to my attention. Uh, it was obviously uh, excellent detective work but also um, not just um, good investigatory skills but uh, he went above and beyond uh, responding to Bridgeport then Trumbull um, and was able to get cooperation from Trumbull immediately and uh, detained and then arrested the individual. So uh, for excellent work, we wanted to uh, recognize Detective Kukumazidis as one of the officers of the month for November. Well, thank you very much, Detective Kukumazidis. <laughs> Tough name to pronounce, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I agree with the chief. Uh, a wonderful job, uh, very thorough, very complete. I have also... Uh, impressed, I guess, because it seems as if the victim had your personal cell phone number or your department cell phone number. Um, and that is something that I'm sure that she appreciates um, having being able to get in touch with you uh, right away and, uh, and, and adv advise you of this information. So again, excellent p uh, police work. Uh, great job. And uh, congratulations on your being selected as officer of the month for November. Uh, Commissioner? Yes, I too want to, of course, commend Detective Kugmides for the wonderful job, how swift he was to respond so that everything uh, was attended to. And that, I think, also um, resulted in, in such a good outcome as it did, um, because it, obviously they were apprehended uh, quickly. So I think that that was uh, really uh, great that he did that and uh, really appreciate your work there. Thank you. Um, uh, Detective Kujimazidis, do you have anything you'd like to add or say? You're on mute. You have to unmute yourself. Hello, I uh, just want to say thank you and I appreciate uh, all, all the, the nice words that were said. You're very welcome. They were well deserved. Uh, Chief, the next uh, item. Yep, this is uh, regarding a second incident 
Uh, this is Officer uh, Lou Ginotasio, Officer Stephen Kauf, and Officer Ramon uh, Tejada. This was an incident uh, just after noon on November 9th. We received a report of shots being fired on Merritt Street and uh, got a description of three males that were running from the area. Officer Ginotasio and Kauf uh, immediately responded and with the limited information they had apprehended a juvenile who was found to be in possession of a nine millimeter handgun with an extended magazine. Officer Tejada was working an extra duty assignment nearby. He also responded and in initiated a search and located the other two suspects um, hiding in a wood chipper in the area and searched further and in the area located two more handguns that were hidden by the suspects. So all in all, they arrested three suspects and recovered three handguns within uh, moments, minutes after the shots fired call. And for an excellent job and great teamwork, uh, we want to recognize all three as uh, officers of the month for November as well. Uh, thank you, Chief. Uh, excellent. Another example of excellent police work, um, not just following through, but when the first suspect was located, they still continued to locate or to search for two more, which also resulted in two handguns, which had they not recovered them may have fallen into somebody's hands. A child could have been injured. Um, but uh, again, exceptional police work, uh, much appreciated uh, to all the things that uh, they did, plus all the things that uh, members of the department do on a, on a daily basis. Uh, Commissioner? I agree, all three officers should be commended for not just the swiftness as well, but also more just as important, the thoroughness and the teamwork, the coordination that was involved. So on there to be commended. Thank you. Um, now that will bring us to the operations for a, a report. Deputy Chief Walsh. Good afternoon, Commissioner. November, 2022 operations report. The end of November, we had 176 sworn personnel, five patrolman vacancies, 187 and a quarter sick days used by sworn personnel, 119 and a quarter workman's comp days used by sworn personnel as full officers on long term. Detective Bureau activity in significant cases. The Detective Bureau opened up 61 cases in November. They had two commercial burglaries, four residential burglaries. Four burglaries, seven burglaries into motor vehicles, three robberies, 17 larcenies, two assaults, one shooting with no victim, three death investigations, 10 IVOAs, and uh, 12 other investigations. Detectives are currently investigating 53 cases of stolen checks from mailboxes that have occurred since August 1st. Those, those investigations are ongoing. Checks have been altered and cash fraudulently throughout Fairfield County. And they're also assisting with the fatal MVA investigation on the 27th of November. Special services activity in significant cases. They opened up 38 cases. They made 12 felony arrests, one misdemeanor arrest, 12 warrant arrests, and they executed two search warrants. Two investigators were transferred back to were transferred back into special services. They have several ongoing narcotic investigations and three non-fatal overdose investigations ongoing. The Special Victims Unit activity, they opened up 49 cases. They remain busy. They made six felony arrests, four misdemeanor arrests, four arrest warrants, and they executed four search warrants. Uh, they located an old juvenile runaway located in Arizona, possible human trafficking angle. So they uh, began an investigation. Subject arrested for inappropriate contact with a minor at a local restaurant. And the deer instructor is ongoing, instructions ongoing through all through, through the three SROs. Behavior Health Unit, November, since uh, the beginning of the unit, they've opened up 46 cases so far. In its first month since inception, the Behavioral Health Unit has been actively established with emails, phone lines, and computer access, allowing for communications and response. Embedded clinician Alex Fitzner has hit the ground running with Sergeant Galeno, meeting with clients on the first day of work. Information regarding the unit has been shared through police department and across social services agencies, and as a result, is continuously receiving referrals in the first 26 days. Uh, they've also conducted lineup training to all the uh, patrolmen in the month of November. The traffic unit activity in November 2022, they had 29 citations, 32 written warnings, four verbal warnings, and three arrests. 
uh, Officer Wazalewski is the primary investigating officer for the fatal MVA investigation <coughs> on the 27th. Community policing, community services, November 2022. They were busy with Washington Street and the Wall Street holiday tree lightings, coffee with a cop, Citizens Police Academy graduation. They also began stuff a cruiser for the collection of toys, uh, which culminated in the uh, successful children's Christmas party this past Saturday. Uh, Veterans Day, City Hall, Turkey Drive at Stu Leonard's and Calvary Baptist Church. Total criminal arrest for November was 146. Patrol division calls for service, 4,594. The citations report for November, they issued 229 total citations as a department. There was 46 issued for traveling too fast, 22 for stop sign, 21 for control signal, 21 for no license, two for suspended license, seven for no insurance, and they made 16 DUI arrests. Uh, we did have grant hires out there the whole month, so they made a significant impact in making 16 DUI arrests. Yeah, that's well done. Okay. Uh, any questions, Commissioner? I have none. Excellent uh, report, and good to see that uh, the embedded social worker has, uh, you know, hit the ground running and is uh, making good inroads. Okay, uh, next yeah. item on the agenda, the November training report, Deputy Chief Zeka. Good evening. Um, for review credit training um, in, in the past month, we had um, domestic violence, crime scene, human trafficking, uh, weapons and permits and mental health first aid. Um, the behavioral health unit did roll call training for um, all of patrol to kind of make sure that people were understanding how it's going to be integrated um, and when they should be uh, providing referrals, etc. Um, monthly training, our ESU teams had monthly training. And then there was annual training for rif uh, patrol rifles and taser and less lethal. Um, <clears throat> well, so, uh, there were a few officers that did their NCIC recertifications. And then we had two sergeants who went up to the academy to help um, with the recruit class uh, with, practical, with their practical skills days. Um, and then uh, we've in. In this month, we've had nine officers come out of the academy, so they are starting their training um, here at the department. And we're looking forward to an initiative in January called ICAT. It's a, a newer um, de-escalation type training that uh, we're going to be rolling out. And that's Thanks. all I have. Very good. Lots of uh, good information in there. Appreciate all the training that's going on. Uh, Commissioner, any comments or questions? Uh, no, I have none, ma'am. Okay. Uh, next item is personnel matters. Tuition reimbursement for Officer Scott Russo. Uh, do I have a motion to bring that to the table for discussion? So moved, Mayor. Okay. Chief or whoever? Yeah. Uh, Officer Russo is requesting reimbursement for two classes uh, towards his Bachelor of Science degree at Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, each or totaling uh, $960 uh, reimbursement. Both classes were approved previously by the police commission. Mm -hmm. And he has uh, provided his grades and his uh, invoice, et cetera. So everything's in order for uh, the reimbursement. Chief, can you identify the courses taken besides the English? I, I've gotten to show what that acronym SCS stands for. Perspectives in perspectives in the social and it's cut off. I'm not sure. Um, are we reading the same one? Just to be clear, we're we reading the same one below English. Yeah, SCS 100 is perspectives in the okay. social science something. Okay. okay. Any further questions? I have none. Yeah. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Motion carries unanimously. Next is a course approval for Sar Sergeant Ryan Evarts. So uh, Sergeant uh, Evarts. Oh, like, can I get a motion to move that? I'm sorry. It's so moved, ma'am. Okay, uh, go ahead, Chief. So Sergeant Evarts uh, requested tuition reimbursement for budgeting in the public sector. We did not have a record of it being approved. And when we contacted him, uh, he realized he had not had it approved. So he's requesting at this meeting, both the approval of the course and the reimbursement for the 50% of the tuition. The paperwork is there uh, properly for the course uh, invoice, et cetera. However, it had not been previously approved by the commission before he took the course. Commissioner, any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Yeah, um, I, I don't see it as a major issue. Um, you know, he took the course, he did well in it, and uh, he submitted all the information now once he realized that he had not uh, had the course approved previously. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries for both of those items, course approval and the tuition reimbursement. Um, next item on the agenda, complimentary letters, Chief. Okay, the first is from uh, Stanford uh, State's Attorney, uh, Paul Forensic. This is regarding the excellent uh, work that Detective Imperato uh, had done preparing, well, investigating and then preparing uh, for trial, a cold case that went forward from a crime that occurred 20 years, uh, 12 years ago. Um, he spent hours and hours, uh, not just investigating it, but preparing the case with the state's attorney's office for trial. And uh, Paul just wanted to personally thank him uh, formally for his work there. Uh, the second was uh, forwarded to me by Sergeant Orr. This was a note from a parent Apparently, the daughter had written an essay six years ago when she was in uh, fifth grade or waiting in elementary school. She's now at Brian McMahon, and she happened to revisit the essay with her mother, and they forwarded that to us, um, noting that Officer uh, Cornell Eberzini had made a huge impact on her uh, during the D.A.R.E. program back uh, when she was much younger. Um, the next is regarding our motorcycle officers. Uh, they assisted Greenwich police. Uh, they had the untimely passing of one of their lieutenants and they assisted with the funeral escort and uh, supporting Greenwich during that uh, difficult time. Mm. Uh, the next is from a woman. Um, she was reporting how she made a 911 call uh, and she wanted to make a note of the officers that responded, but also uh, Sergeant Galino followed up numerous times with her uh, because of the the, tra the trauma that she experienced. And she wanted to thank us and thank Sergeant Galino uh, for the follow up on that case. Uh, the next one is regarding Officer uh, Van Rensburg. Uh, a person was involved in a motor vehicle accident, and they commented how professional courteous, caring uh, Officer Van Rensburg was in dealing with the incident, even though the other operator was belligerent. Uh, and they commented how professional he had handled the entire uh, incident. And that is the last one. Very nice. It seems like each month we're getting several of the um, uh, letters of appreciation. I, I know that, uh, uh, you know, we, we certainly appreciate the fact that when somebody has a good interaction uh, or they're impressed with the uh, actions of an officer, they take the time to write. Um, and I, I find that to be uh, very encouraging indeed. And just seems like the officers are continuously uh, uh, out there making a good impression in the public. And uh, th these letters just show this, show all of, show that. Uh, Commissioner? Yeah, I, I agree as well, particularly with, um... You, you know, the specific um, characteristics that um, we see, um, for example, in Parado, um, the relentless, how, how many, tw 10, 12 years, I think I heard, uh, that was, I think that was tremendous um, um, to show that there was at least such, you know, um, ability to stay focused on something that then resulted in.
in such a favorable um, outcome there. So that's really wonderful there. Um, and, and then we also, of course, have, you know, the empathy that we are, <clears throat> being, that's being expressed by many um, empathetic um, characteristics that many of the officers displayed, uh, not to mention, you know, even the programs on there with, um, Sergeant Orr, where we have there something that made a long lasting impression. I think that's important because sometimes we don't know how some of these things um, make a lasting impression even after. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, next item on the agenda, Chief's comments, Chief. Yeah, I just wanted to take a second and publicly thank you and Commissioner Lopez. Um, I wish Commissioner uh, Collier Clemens was here. Unfortunately, she couldn't make the meeting, but she's been around with me for a long time, um, as well as the previous commissioners and uh, the previous mayor, um, who was was the one who initially promoted me. So you've always been very supportive. And I just want to say just thank you. And thank you, Chief Kolowick. I mean, uh, with the short, of course, time that we've known each other, I really appreciate um, all the assistance that you've uh, lended to me and I appreciate that very much. Yeah, uh, Chief, we're gonna miss you. Uh, congratulations on your well-earned uh, retirement. Uh, I doubt that you're gonna be retired for long. I'm sure you're gonna find some ways to keep active uh, just by the fact that I know who you are. Uh, I think um, when you and I have discussions, I always say that your job is to leave the department better than you found it. And uh, I think you have. You've done a remarkable job and well received by the community. I, for one, appreciate uh, all that you've done. I know how hard the job can be. I sat in that chair for a while and uh, it can be challenging at times and it, it can be frustrating, but it also can be extremely rewarding. Uh, and I'm sure that you experienced all those uh, emotions uh, at some time or another during your years as chief. Well, it's uh, getting to be 10 years now, right? 10, 11, yeah. So, 10 years. Yep. Almost, so again, almost 10. Almost 10. So again, uh, congratulations. We wish you well, uh, wish you and your family well, and uh, take some time, enjoy your family, uh, travel, whatever you want to do. But uh, again, congratulations and thank you. Well, you can't get rid of me completely. Um, <laughs> unfortunately uh, for you, maybe, well, I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, but I'm still going to stay on as the treasurer for PAL, at least foreseeable future. Um, and I'm also finishing mentoring uh, the student I have at Brian McMahon, who doesn't graduate till next year. Um, so I want to finish that. But So um, I'll still be around. Well, that's, that's also good to hear. And I'm sure that you'll be a resource to anybody who needs, uh, has a question or uh, would like uh, to, to just kind of get a different perspective on things. No, actually, I'm changing my cell phone number uh, tomorrow. So Jimmy doesn't have it, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he won't need it, but I've, I've, I've already told him that he's welcome to call anytime, but I have confidence that I, I don't think I'll be getting too many calls. Uh, I don't, well, I don't think so either, but you never know. Uh, Deputy Chief Zeka, did I, uh, could you check on your phone? I'll be at the next meeting, Mayor. Okay. Okay, well, Chief, this is officially your last police commission meeting. Um, and again, congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Uh, I think those are all the items on the agenda. If uh, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved, Mayor. Uh, all in favor? Uh, I'm sorry, the next meeting will be January 24th at 4.15 p.m. 2023. Hard to believe that the year has gone by, but uh, it has and nothing we can do about it. So uh, uh, all we say a happy holiday and a happy new year. Absolutely, same goes for me. And again, uh, uh, all in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned at uh, 447, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Aye.